Hey guys, welcome back for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we're going to try to get a uh, nice short tutorial in here. Um, what we're going to be covering today is the bend deformer, which is actually uh, this first one here, which you can access by uh, clicking, holding, and bend. And it places it in our workspace here. And uh, to show you how this works, I'm going to add a cube by clicking and holding on the cube and dropping it in here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the cube a little bit taller, make it like 1000 centimeters tall and then 150 and 150 wide. Alright, so the first thing that we can do is usually you drop the cube or you drop an object into a deformer, but um, this time is actually going to be the deformer into the object, like so, so that the bend deformer is the child of the cube. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to adjust the strength. Right away, you're going to notice this is not bending my object whatsoever. And the reason that it's not bending the object is because on our cube that we added, it only has one segment on the side, so you can't bend one. You need multiple different segments. So if we come back into the cube here, and we go to our Y segments, which is our height segments, and we just add some of those, you'll, you'll know now that since it has one segment, or two, it can bend that in half. So the more we add, the smoother our curve is going to be. And yeah, that's basically it for the bend former. Um, you can change like the angle of the bend, so uh, it bends in different directions. You can make it uh, only within the box bends. And then unlimited bend is... Um, well, it just keeps, it bends both sides instead of just, just the one. So you can make some funky, funky shapes. So yeah, so that's the basics of the, uh, bend deformer. Nice, short and sweet. The only other thing that I want to show you is I believe by default the segments are actually hidden and you can't see them on your object. Um, a quick way to fix this is under this uh, perspective bar, come to displays, and then I use constant shading lines. I think it's on this first one, which just doesn't show you um, any lines at all. So I just go constant shading lines because I like to see how many segments are on there. But yeah, that's a nice short and sweet tutorial on the bend deformer. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. See ya. 